we are committed to fully implementing the AMA agreement. We're working closely with the AMA to implement all the components of the deal as soon as possible. Now, the first thing that we're doing is rescinding the cap on daily visits. It applies to all services that are billed as visits, such as office visits, consultation, and counseling services. Procedures and tests that physicians provide in a day are not billed as visits. Now, right now, services that are billed as visits are discounted if physicians provide over 50 in one day. So with this change, physicians will be fully compensated no matter how many visit services they bill in a given day. Now we're making the change because we've heard from physicians, uh, particularly ophthalmologists, family physicians, and pediatricians who say this cap limits patient access. Now changing the policy will address immediate pressures and increase patient access to services provided by general practitioners and specialists. Now the intent was to promote quality care and safety for patients and physicians. And those are valid goals, but the impact of the cap was limited and we think it's outweighed by the need to support access for patients and let physicians use their judgment to ensure they're seeing the appropriate number of patients in a day. Well, I think the uh, removal of the daily cap is, is a good first step forward. Um, beyond that, I, I, I think we're working towards and, and the one-time payment. Those are the, the issues are financial stability. You know, doctors have left the province. Doctors have changed their practices to go into uh, more niche practices, like maybe OR assist, rather than trying to run an office that's financially non-sustainable. So those are definitely options that are on the table. Obviously, there are other providers who feel they can provide the same service as family physicians. And they have every opportunity to present their case and be included as providers. But I think the biggest issue is financial stability that physicians can look ahead and see over the next couple of years that they can actually keep their business afloat. And, you know, one of the important aspects of the agreement is partnership. You know, so we, we, you know, we're setting up a, you know, as part of the agreement, a, in essence, a management committee to look at issues jointly. Uh, and look at it from a, a interest-based standpoint because you know there's so many common interests between government and and, uh, and doctors. You know how do we actually make sure that we we find solutions that solve both the problems and, and then work through it and talk through it. So there's a you know it's incredibly important the process that we set up to be able to work together. Uh, and then we're going to continue to work through the these issues and and like anything else is that you know we'll we'll move forward with a solution. Uh, continue to monitor it. If it doesn't work, then we're going to pivot and, and keep going until we actually get it right. Uh, but that's the power of partnership, and, and very pleased that you know uh, this agreement. This is such a, a uh, like a key element uh, of this agreement is how we partner together to work through these challenges that that we all are going to be facing jointly over the next few years.